Hello, this is Teacher Marco from Crooked Pals, and uh, welcome again to this GED Social Studies um, screencast. Um, today, I'd like to talk to you about another test skill builder um, about on how to determine cost and uh, cost and effect. So this is really important. For you to be able to have a good score on your GED social studies test now um, if you find this video useful please hit the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to share this video also click on the notification icon or the bell icon below um, with that you can help us help more people like you so let's begin so why do we need to learn this skill? Well, cause and effect relationships are important in social studies. Also, for you to know, a cause is an action or situation that produces an event. And in social studies, there are a lot of events that you will have to read about. Um, an effect on the other hand is what happens as a result of a cause so don't um, be confused a cause is an action or situation that produce an event while an effect is the result of a cause okay now to identify cause and effect relationships please follow these steps first you have to identify two or more events or developments all right so that's really important always once there is um, a reading task that you have to do on your test always identify the events or developments and then after that decide whether one event caused the other look for clue words such as because led to brought about so that after that produce a res uh, as a result of or since so once you've done that identify the outcomes of events so some effects have more than one cause and some causes lead to more than one effect keep that in mind okay so let's try to uh, have an example here let's read this excerpt by the way, these material that I'm using now or this particular passage or excerpt, um, it's pretty similar with the passages that you will read on your GED social studies test. So let's take a look. New government faces economic challenges. After the American Revolution, the United States experienced an economic depression. A depression is a period of time when economic activity slows down. The government did not have much money. The small amount of money the government had went to pay debts, debts to foreign countries. This resulted in a serious uh, shortage of money in the United States. Soon, people began to call for a new plan of government that could address challenges faced by the young nation. Whoa, pretty simple. I believe so. So, what's the first step? We have to identify two or more events that, or developments. So the first event uh, that I have identified here is uh, the text in yellow. After the American Revolution, the United States experienced an economic depression. That's an event. Right. The second one is the government did not have much money. That's another event. One more. The small amount of money the government had went to pay debts to foreign countries. So that's another one. Three. And then four, this resulted in a serious shortage of money in the United States. All right, so those are the four events. Now, the first one, this is an event, but we are not told what caused it. So, it's not a cause. Um, it's probably a result after the American Revolution. So it's a result of the american revolution it's an effect second one the government did not have much money this event could be a result of depression right so now you're identifying the uh cause and effect um relationship pattern right so the another one this event was not caused by the depression but 
it did have an effect right so it it didn't cause a depression but it has an effect the small amount of money government had went to pay debts to foreign countries it contributed to the economic crisis during that time this resulted in so this phrase is a clue that there is a relationship between these events uh, the effect was a result of the depression, the government's lack of money, and the debts owned, owed by the government, sorry. So this was an outcome of the events described. The last part there. This is the overall result. Right? So once you've done that, try to make a graphic organizer, same as this. This will help you a lot if you're confused about something and I'm pretty sure time will permit it you can do a simple graphic organizer on your test you will be given uh, a, a, um, a, a paper and a pen for you to write on during your test if you're confused about a certain passage or an excerpt you can do some graphic organizer similar to this to summarize it and to easily understand the passage because I know for most of uh, our students reading is really a challenge all right so graphic organizer similar as this will help them a lot will help you guys a lot so what is cause and effect let's do a review a cause is an action or situation that produces an event an effect is what happens as a result of a cause so the ability to identify cause and effect relationship will help in a social studies test on your social studies test so remember a cause is an action that produces an event an effect is an event that caused by something and the ability to identify cause and effect relationship will help you in all your studies in preparing for the GD social studies test so I hope that this skill builder is uh, helpful uh, helpful for you and I hope that um, you were able to pick up something from me today teacher Marco um, and uh, please again don't forget to hit the subscribe uh, button and click on the bell icon I want to thank you for your time and have a good day